The first step to being able to make the right adjustments to your guitar, to take the right measurements, to really be able to fine tune your instrument to get the most from it, is understanding how the guitar works. What are the basic uh, principles of physics and um, other types of phenomenon and uh, relationships that are all kind of interacting and taking place within the system of the guitar. And that's what we're going to talk about here in this section. So basically the beginning is the string is set in motion, the guitar player plucks the string, and um, this is the input to the system. So if you think of this like a system where um, the guitar body and all these other components are kind of like the processor. If this was a computer, they would be sort of the processor that is going to take the initial signal and do something with it. So we're kind of programming this guitar as we're building it and designing it to do something with the input that we give it. Now, the place where this begins that we're going to focus on right now is the input itself. So what generates the input? Um, the character of the input is determined in a large degree by the scale length. And the scale length is something I find myself talking about a lot because I think it's so important to be considering the scale length as you are um, designing your guitar or maybe even choosing a guitar if you're a player. Um, because the scale length, and by the way, if you're not familiar with the term scale length, it's, it's basically the distance from the nut to the saddle. And uh, the string is stretched across that distance and that's the resonating or the vibrating length of the string. And we're going to talk a little more about scale length uh, coming up in a few minutes. But for now, um, we'll just picture this scale length with the string tuned up to pitch. It's set in motion and the very first thing the string does is vibrate in, its, in what we call its fundamental vibration. And I'm going to put up a little slide here so you can see a visual representation of the string vibrating at its fundamental and then also the harmonic series that's accompanying that fundamental. Now what we call the fundamental is basically when the string moves up and down completely as a whole unit and this is the uh, root, it's kind of like a root basically. So for example to make it clear an E string um, is vibrating, the fundamental vibration of the E string is an E and that's why the note has the name E because the E is the fundamental. Now the harmonics, the way they play into this, is they give the string or the note its character. Does it sound sharp or harsh or round or sweet? Um, you know a lot of what you're hearing as the character of the note is coming from the presence or lack of these different um, harmonics in these particular different harmonic series that's accompanying the fundamental of the string. Now um, the scale length itself that we talked about earlier is in a large degree determining what the harmonic content is going to be of the string. I'm going to talk about why that is in a minute but let me just give you a quick example to better understand um, the effect of the scale length on the tonality um, which is a result of the harmonic content of the string when it's vibrating. Um, so if you think of a Strat guitar and the sound that it makes, um, the, the tone of a Strat, compared to the tone of a Les Paul, um, the Strat is going to be a brighter, clearer, um, more cutting type of a sound, and the bass strings are going to be a little tighter, and the Les Paul is going to have kind of a sweeter, rounder trebles, and the bass strings are kind of loose. and um, one of the main reasons, even even more, um, it's it's affecting the tone even more than the woods and the pickups and everything else. I believe is the scale length, and the Strat has a long scale length, so that's a good example that you can kind of store in your mind of what does it, what does it do to the tone of the guitar when I make a longer scale length, and the Les Paul is a very short scale length. So the longer scale length is going to give you this brighter, cutting, clear sound, quicker basses, and the shorter scale length is going to give you sweeter sounds, uh, sweeter trebles, uh, rounder, a lot of people say, and a looser bass. So um, those are important things to understand as you're designing your guitar or maybe even when you're selecting a guitar if you're a player. So 
where we're at now is we have the uh, the string is in motion um, the scale length has set um, some parameters on the harmonic content that are present within that string that's kind of some of the information that's contained in it and now we need to see what happens with that energy as it starts to be input into the system of the guitar through the bridge.